at a real estate office. Hello, I want to rent an apartment. Hello, John. Sure. One bedroom or two. Two bedrooms, please. What is your budget? Up to $1,000 a month. Okay. Do you want it near the city center? Yes, close to a bus station. I have some options. Here are pictures. I like this one. How much is it? That is $950 a month. Can I visit it today? Yes, at 4 p.m. Is that good? Yes, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. See you at 4 p.m. At a local cafe. Hey. Emma, long time no see. Jake, I know, right. It's been ages. How have you been? Pretty good, just the usual work and home routine. And you, how's the new job? It's been great, actually. The team is friendly, and I'm learning a lot. But, oh boy. The hours can be long sometimes. That's the thing with new jobs, right? But I'm sure you'll settle in soon. Oh, by the way, have you been to that new pizza place downtown? Not yet. Is it good? It's amazing. We should go sometime. 
Maybe this weekend. Sounds like a plan. I'm free on Sunday. How about lunch? Perfect. It's a date then. And hey, we should catch up more often. I've missed our chats. I've missed them too. Let's promise to meet up at least once a month, okay? Deal. Looking forward to Sunday. Me too. Take care, and see you soon. On a downtown street. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to find Elm Street. Could you guide me? Of course. You're actually not too far from it. Do you see that traffic light over there? Yes, the one next to the bookstore. Exactly. Once you get to that light, take a left. Keep walking straight for about two blocks, and you'll find Elm Street. Got it. Left at the light and then two blocks straight. Is there any landmark I should look out for? Yes, there's a big park on Elm Street with a fountain in the middle. Once you see that, you'll know you're in the right place. Perfect. Thank you so much. I'm new in town, so I'm still figuring things out. No problem at all. We've all been there. Welcome to the city. If you need any more help or recommendations, don't hesitate to ask someone. People here are pretty friendly.
Thanks for the tip and directions. Have a great day. You too. Good luck. Hello. I have an appointment at 2, 0 p.m. under the name John. Ah, yes, John. Welcome. Please have a seat. So, what are we doing for you today? I'm looking for a trim and a bit of a cleanup around the sides and back. I'd like to keep the length on top. Got it. So, just to tidy up around the edges and maintain the volume up top. Anything specific in terms of the fade or taper on the sides. I usually go for a mid-fade. And can you also thin out the top a bit? It gets quite thick and wavy. Of course, I can thin it out for you. How about the beard? Do you want to trim there as well? Oh, yes, almost forgot. Just a slight trim, and can you shape it so it's a bit more defined? Absolutely. Let's get started then. Are you going for any particular style, or just the usual? I've been trying to get something similar to what Chris Hemsworth had in one of his movies. You know, the laid-back look but tidy. Ah. Uh. I know the one. I'll aim for that, then. By the way, do you use any particular products to style your hair? I usually use a matte pomade, but I'm open to suggestions. Given your hair type, I'd recommend a light clay. It'll give you hold without making it too shiny. We have some here if you'd like to give it a try. Sounds good. I'll try it out. All right, John, take a look. How does that feel?
This looks great. Exactly what I was hoping for. And the beard shape up is spot on. I'm glad you liked it. Just apply the clay I mentioned when your hair is almost dry for the best results. And remember, a little goes a long way. Thanks for the tip. I'll keep that in mind. How much do I owe you? That'll be $25 for the cut and beard trim. Here you go, and this is for you. Thank you, Jordan. It was a pleasure. Hope to see you next time. Definitely. Thanks again, and have a great day. At the police station. Good morning. How can I assist you? Hi, officer. I came to declare a theft. My apartment was broken into last night. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's get some details. Can you start by giving me your full name and address? Of course, it's Sarah Thompson, 45 Elm Street, apartment 12B. Thank you, Sarah. Can you describe what happened? I came home from work around 6 p.m. yesterday and found my front door slightly ajar. When I entered, I noticed my place was a mess. Many items were missing, including my laptop, some jewelry, and cash. Did you notice any signs of forced entry, broken windows, or damaged locks? Yes, the lock on my front door was tampered with. Did you touch anything or try to clean up after discovering the break-in? No, I didn't touch anything. I was too shocked. I called a friend and stayed at their place for the night. That's good. We'll send someone to investigate and take fingerprints. 
Can you provide a list of stolen items and their approximate value? I can. It might take some time to remember everything, though. Take your time. The more details we have, the better. Also, any serial numbers or distinct markings on the items will be helpful. Got it. I'll do that. Do you think there's a chance I'll get my stuff back? We'll do our best. Sometimes stolen items turn up in pawn shops or are sold online. We'll keep an eye out. It's also a good idea to inform your insurance company. I'll do that. Thank you, Officer Morgan. You're welcome. If you remember any more details or have any concerns, don't hesitate to contact us. I appreciate your help. I hope we can catch the person responsible. We'll do our best. Take care and consider adding some extra security measures to your home. I definitely will. Thanks again. At Greenleaf Pharmacy. Hello. I'm here to pick up a prescription for Amy Stevens. All right. Give me a moment. Ah, uh, here it is. Are you familiar with this medication, or would you like some information? This is my first time. Could you explain the dosage and any side effects? Of course. This medication is to be taken once daily, preferably in the morning. It's important not to skip a dose, and if you accidentally do, don't double up. Just take the next dose at the usual time. Common side effects include dizziness and mild stomach upset. If you experience anything severe or unusual, consult your doctor immediately. Got it. Thank you. Oh, and can I take it with other medications I'm currently on?
What other medications were you taking? I'm on multivitamins and a daily aspirin. That should be fine. But always remember to let your doctor know all the medications and supplements you're on so they can ensure there are no harmful interactions. Will do. Anything else I should be aware of? Avoid alcohol while on this medication, and if you experience dizziness, don't drive or operate heavy machinery. Other than that, just follow the label's directions. Thank you for the information. How much do I owe? Your insurance covered it, so there's no charge today. Great. Thanks again for your help. You're welcome. If you have any other questions in the future, don't hesitate to ask. Take care. You too. Goodbye. At a shoe store. Hello. I'm looking for a new pair of shoes. Hi. What type of shoes are you interested in? Running, casual, or formal? I need some casual shoes. Great. Any particular color in mind? I think blue or maybe brown. All right. What's your size? It depends on the shoes. But I'm usually a size 10. Sometimes, I wear an 11. Let me check what we have in stock. After a few minutes. Here are some options in blue and brown.
Thank you. I'd like to try these brown ones. Of course. Here you go. In normal days. Those are $100, but this week we have offered a cost only $80. These feel comfortable. How much are they? All right. I'll pack them up for you. Would you like to wear them out or put them in the box? Sounds good. I'll take them. Sure thing. Your total will be $80. Will that be cash or card? In the box, please. Here's the card machine. Thank you for shopping with us. Actually, I don't have enough cash. I will pay by card. Thanks for your help. Have a nice day. You too. Enjoy your new shoes. Arrival at the hotel. Hello. I have a reservation under the name Sarah. Hello, Madame Sarah. Welcome to Evergreen Hotel. Let me check your reservation. Ah, yes, I see it here. You've booked a double room for three nights. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Could you let me know the Wi-Fi password for the rooms? Of course. The Wi-Fi network is evergreen underscore guests and the password is sterilaxed123. You'll also find this information in the welcome booklet in your room. Thank you. 
And what time is breakfast served? Breakfast is from 7, 0 a.m. to 10, 0 a.m. in the dining hall on the ground floor. I'm new to the area. Can you recommend some good places to visit nearby? Certainly. There's a beautiful botanical garden just 10 minutes away. We also have a local museum and a historic downtown area that guests usually enjoy. I can provide you with a map if you'd like. That sounds great. I'd appreciate the map. Thank you. Excuse me. I've noticed that the air conditioning in my room isn't working properly. Can someone check it? I'm sorry to hear that. I'll have our maintenance team look into it right away. In the meantime, would you like a fan? A fan would be helpful. Thank you. During checkout. I'd like to check out, please. My stay was wonderful. I'm glad to hear you enjoyed your stay. Madame Sarah, let me finalize your bill. Do you have any additional charges or services you availed during your stay? Just the room service dinner from last night. All right, I've added that to your bill. Here's the total. I hope to see you again soon at Evergreen Hotel. Checking into a hotel. This is my first time staying at this hotel. I've heard good things. Oh, same here. I found it online, and the reviews were quite positive. Did you opt for a room with a view? I did. I wanted to see the city skyline. How about you? I went for the deluxe suite. I'm here on vacation, so I thought I'd splurge a bit. At the hotel breakfast buffet. The spread looks amazing. I'm definitely trying those pastries.
They do look delicious. I'm heading straight for the omelet station. Freshly made omelets are my favorite. That sounds good too. Maybe I'll grab a fruit plate first, then indulge in some pastries. In the hotel gym. I always like to get a workout in, even when I'm traveling. Me too. Keeps the energy levels up. Do you know if they offer any fitness classes here? I think they have a yoga class in the mornings. I'm planning to attend tomorrow. By the hotel pool. It's such a sunny day. Perfect for a swim, don't you think? Absolutely. And after the swim, I'm thinking of getting a drink from that poolside bar. Sounds like a plan. I heard their fruit cocktails are a must try. During checkout. How was your stay? It was lovely. The staff here is so attentive and the amenities are top-notch. How about yours? Same here. I especially love the spa. I'll definitely be recommending this hotel to my friends. Making a hotel reservation by phone. Hello, Blue Sky Hotel. Yes, hello. How can I assist you? I want to reserve a room. Sure. For which dates? From July 10th to July 14th. How many people? Two people. Would you like a single room or a double room? Double room, please.
double room, please. Yes, that's good. Thank you. Your name, please. Jenny Brown. All right, Jenny. Your room is reserved from July 10th to July 14th. See you then. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice day. At a job fair. Hello. I want to apply for a job. Hello, John. Which job are you interested in? I like the cashier job. Good. Do you have a resume? Yes, here it is. Thank you. Do you have experience? Yes, one year at a supermarket. Very good. We need experience. When can you start? I can start next week. Okay. We will call you for an interview. Thank you. I wait for your call. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Goodbye. In the office break room. Hello, Mark. Hi, Amy. You look tired. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. I did not sleep well.
Oh, I'm sorry. Bad dream. No, just many thoughts. I understand. Sometimes, tea helps me. Do you want some? That's kind. Yes, please. Here you go. Thank you, Amy. I hope I sleep better tonight. Me too. Rest is important. Yes, it is. Thanks for the tea. You're welcome. Take care. In the kitchen. Hello, Tom. What do you do? Hi, Anna. I wash dishes. You. I clean living room. Need help. No, thank you. Almost done. You need help. Yes, please. Can you vacuum? Okay. Where is vacuum? In the closet. After, we do laundry. Yes, good idea. I have many dirty clothes. Me too. Housework is hard, 
But house looks nice. Yes, I like clean house. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Teamwork. At a cafe. Hey, Maya. I heard you moved to a new place. How's the house? Yes, I did. It's wonderful. Let me tell you about it. I'd love to hear. All right. So, it's a two-story house with a beautiful red brick exterior. When you walk in, there's this spacious living room with big windows that let in so much natural light. The wooden floor gives it a cozy touch. Sounds delightful already. What about the kitchen? The kitchen is modern with stainless steel appliances and white marble countertops. There's an island in the middle, which is perfect for breakfast or just sitting and chatting over coffee. And the bedrooms. There are three bedrooms. The master bedroom is my favorite. It has a walk in closet and an in sub bathroom with both a shower and a tub. One of the other bedrooms has a balcony that overlooks the garden. Oh, there's a garden. Yes, that's the best part. There's a beautiful garden at the back with roses, lilies, and even a small vegetable patch. And there's a paved area where I put some outdoor furniture. It's great for summer barbecues. This sounds like a dream house, Maya. It really is. It feels homey, you know. Plus, there's a study room where I can work without disturbances and a small basement which I'm planning to convert into a mini theater.
I must visit soon. I'd love to see it in person. Absolutely. You're welcome anytime. Maybe we can have a barbecue next weekend. Sounds like a plan. At Bright Smile Dental Clinic. Good morning. How can I assist you today? Hello. I have an appointment with Dr. Wilson at 10. 30. My name is Lucas Gray. Let me check. Yes, Mr. Gray. Dr. Wilson will see you soon. Please have a seat in the waiting area. Mr. Gray, Dr. Wilson is ready for you. Please follow me. Good morning, Lucas. How have you been? I'm good, thank you. I've been experiencing some sensitivity on the lower left side. I see. We'll take a look. When did you first notice the sensitivity? About a week ago, especially when I drink something cold. All right. Lie back and let's take a closer look. It seems like you have a small cavity that's causing the sensitivity. It's best if we fill it soon. Oh, I see. Can we do it today? Of course. It won't take long. And don't worry, we'll make sure you're comfortable throughout the procedure. Thank you, Dr. Wilson. I'm a bit nervous. It's been a while since my last filling. It's completely natural to feel that way. We'll ensure you're at ease. Would you like some music or anything to distract you? Some music would be great.
All right. Let's get started. In the living room. Hey, Max. Have you checked the time? It's getting late. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it's already past 10 p.m. This movie was so engaging. I know, but we have that early morning meeting tomorrow, remember? Ugh, yes, I almost forgot. I'll just finish this last scene, okay. How about we pause it, and we can continue tomorrow evening. I promise it'll be our movie night. All right, you've got a deal. It's just that I hate leaving things midway. I get it, but a good night's sleep will make us feel so much better for tomorrow. Plus, it's something to look forward to after work. True. I just need to prepare my things for tomorrow and then I'll head to bed. I'll help you. Let's make it quick, and then we can both get some rest. Thanks, Sarah. And thanks for the reminder. Sometimes I just lose track of time. That's what I'm here for. Now, let's hurry up and hit the sack. Changing in appointment time. Hello, Mr. Lee. Yes, hello, Sarah. I have a meeting with you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Can we change it? Oh, why?
I have a doctor's appointment. Okay. When do you want to meet? Can we meet Friday at 10 a.m.? Let me check. Yes, Friday at 10 a.m. is good. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Sorry for the change. No problem, Sarah. See you Friday. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye. At Sunshine Dry Cleaners. Hello. I have a dress that needs cleaning. Hello, ma'am. Let's see the dress. Ah, this is silk. It'll need special care. Are there any specific stains or spots you're concerned about? Yes, there's a wine stain right here. Got it. We have a special solution for wine stains. It should come out easily. I'm glad to hear that. How long will it take? For silk dresses with special stains, we usually take about three days. Would that be all right? That's fine. Oh. And I also have this woolen coat. It's not dirty, but I thought it could use a refresh before winter. A good idea. Wool benefits from occasional cleaning. It helps in maintaining the fabric's quality. Great. So, when can I come to pick both items up? Let's say Friday afternoon. Both will be ready by then. Sounds good. How much will it be? The dress will be $15 because of the special care, and the coat will be $12. So, a total of $27.
All right. I'll pay when I pick them up. That's fine. I'll give you a receipt with the pickup date. Remember to bring it when you come. Will do. Thank you, Mr. Patel. You're welcome, Nora. Have a great day. You too. Goodbye.